The purpose of the kidney is not only to filter the waste products of metabolism from the blood, but also to ensure the important nutrients, such as glucose, are not excreted in the urine. In addition, the kidneys assist in maintaining the water salt and pH balance of the blood. In this diagram, we are looking at the structure of a nephron, the functional unit of a kidney. To better understand how a nephron performs these functions, we will divide our discussion into three stages, glomerular filtration, tubular reabsorption, and tubular secretion. The first stage of urine formation, glomerular filtration, occurs within a region of the nephron called the glomerular capsule. The purpose of this stage is to remove small molecules, water, and salts, collectively called the filterable components, from the blood. Let's take a closer look at what is happening inside the glomerulus. The blood entering the glomerulus is coming from the renal artery and is therefore under pressure. As the blood enters the glomerulus, the diameter of the capillaries decreases, further increasing the pressure and forcing the compounds indicated here from the capillary into the glomerular capsule. This solution of compounds is commonly called the glomerular filtrate. Note that the non-filtrable components, such as blood cells and platelets, are not forced into the glomerular capsule and therefore should not normally be found in the urine. It is during the next stage, called tubular reabsorption, that the body distinguishes between the important nutrients and the waste products that are destined for excretion. Tubular reabsorption occurs in the proximal and distal convoluted tubules. As the glomerular filtrate proceeds through the proximal convoluted tubule, sodium ions are actively reabsorbed and chlorine ions follow. As the sodium and chloride move back into the nearby capillary, water follows by osmosis. As the filtrate enters the distal convoluted tubule, carrier proteins in the wall of the tubule actively transport glucose and some amino acids back into the capillary. Normally, these carrier proteins are very efficient, so glucose should not be detected in the urine. However, in the case of diabetes, these proteins cannot handle the large amount of glucose in the filtrate and some is excreted in the urine. The final stage of urine formation is called tubular secretion. Tubular secretion is where the body rids itself of chemicals and ions that are no longer needed. For example, drugs such as penicillin are actively removed from the blood. It is here that excess hydrogen and potassium ions may also be removed. The loss of hydrogen ions raises the pH of the blood this is an example of how the nephron assists in pH homeostasis. These compounds are removed by active transport into the collecting duct, which connects to the ureter. The ureter moves the urine to the urinary bladder. A number of factors, including hypertension, diabetes, diet, and medications, can influence the operation of the nephron. However, when healthy, an adult kidney can filter around 180 liters of blood per day.